Winter has arrived and many people are taking extra precautions to stay safe. But what about our furry friends? Sharon Palakar and her dog Barry brave the cold weather for a walk and for some fun. I love Barry. I spoil him. Experts say this time of year they see many tragedies that could be avoided. Dr. Martin warned that in extremely cold weather you should bring your pet inside. They can freeze just like humans. No matter what kind of coat it has, it still needs to have shelter. Other tips for keeping your pet safe in the winter include never leaving your pet alone in a car, making sure their water dish is full and free of ice, and keeping all antifreeze away from your pet. Antifreeze is a big thing. Um, even just a little bit of antifreeze can be a problem. And if you have an outside dog, Michigan law requires that they have shelter or protection from the weather. Very often times you'll have a dog coop where the dog goes in and it goes around the corner and it sits out of the way of the wind. Dr. Martin thinks people with small breeds of dogs with thin coats of fur should consider a sweater, but feels there are better ways to help small dogs in the winter. Very often times us little dog owners will shovel off a spot for them because the snow does get deep and they don't want to get lost in the, in the big drifts. When it's freezing, dogs should only be taken outside to relieve themselves. While playing in the snow is great exercise for your pet, it should be done with care and attention, especially when it's really cold outside. In Allendale, Jenna Fitch.